with chalk for anything but typical and it's a book about a boy and he's autistic but he's also a writer and so he posts his writing on his website and then a bunch of people are telling him that he's like a really good writer and stuff so yeah and it's realistic fiction it's a good book who would like this book um i think like anyone who's read um out of my mind and like all those books. Yeah. Those the thing about Georgie? I haven't read that one. <laughs> that is one of the best books I've ever read. So I just started reading The Book Thief. Just started reading it. But it's about this girl named Liesel. It's like this is like the time where. World War II. No. Liesel means Elizabeth. The Nazis. Um, in Germany. <laughs> yeah. So, like, well, when the Nazis um, are burning the books, she picks up one of the books and she becomes obsessed with stealing books that the Nazis are about to burn. So, and that seems okay for a while, but then her family, her foster family, uh, has to hide a Jew in their house. So, uh, so this book is actually not from her perspective, it's from this other boy's perspective. So um, I'll read you the first chapter. Third group. Uh, so read that first chapter and see, see who the perspective it really is. <coughs> So today, um, well, we don't have the book, um, because it's online, and it's the book that we've been writing for Genius Hour, and we wanted to talk a little bit about it, so we can, so anyone could want to read it, so. Who are you? Um, kind of about a couple boys that, um, live on a planet in the distant future, and, um, They've been attacked. They've been attacked on Earth. It's science fiction stuff in it. Yeah, and they find out they've been. Um, they find out that people have been trying trying to get them to come in for training for a long time, and they come in for training, and a lot of stuff happens while while they're finishing up their training. So, um, if you guys want to read it, it's. Um, the link is on my blog, um, on Miss Kerr's uh, website, and um, we do not have an official title for it yet, but we are thinking of naming it Forgotten so far, so that's what we have so far. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, uh, it probably won't be done for a long time. Okay, then. Tyler. Who are you? By the way, we're on like chapter 30, so. Yeah. There's a book called. Really there's already a book called Forgotten. There's like a ton of books. Chapter 30. Yeah. 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 It's like, what chapter are we on? Over 9,000? By the way, wait, wait, wait. wait. They're very, very, very short chapters if anyone likes those. Who, so, who are you guys? Tyler Nathan. Really? And paragraph to about two pages long. Um, I read these two books. Well, I read three of them. Um, this is the first book in yeah, in this middle school series by Jim Patterson. I don't know if you can read it. Right there. And, and so, and yeah, Chris somebody. And so anyway, um, it's a book about this guy or kid right there. His name is Rafe. I don't care, I call it Rafe, because that's how it's spelled. It's spelled. Look at the camera. Okay, so anyway, no, I don't want to look at the camera. So anyway, um, he has a sister, and, well, an imaginary slash unimaginary slash dead brother. It's confusing. Cool. So yeah, it's extremely it makes sense. Until the end of the book. And so then, um, he, at, the, at his middle school, um, at, at middle school, um, 
it's the first day, and so they're going over all the rules. And his brother, being dead, imaginary, and not imaginary, since he can't get in trouble, he he makes a game with his brother to break. Um, his brother's name is Leo, and Leo t tells Ray for yes to. I don't care. To like, so he they decide he decides to like break all of the rules that at that school. Like every single rule, yeah. And I don't think he ever ends up doing it. But you don't find out because it takes multiple books. I think he does. Eventually. Thank you for spoiling the entire series. And so then, and at the end of this one, something happens that makes him do other things at that in that book. And I'm not gonna tell you what happens in that one because then it'll ruin the ending. Um, the name of this book is called The Fifth Wave, and it's by Rick Vancey. I don't know how to spell something. Um, and it's about this girl named Cassie, and her family gets split up. Well, it's about aliens invading Earth, and then, um, her family gets split up in the third or fourth wave. Well, beginning of fourth wave, they get split up, and... And then she goes on this big adventure to go find her brother, who is taken by the army to try and defeat these aliens. And this is kind of a different way to, than most books are made, because every time there's this like big black page, it changes to another character. It just goes between her and this other guy, I forget his name. Like, like It goes between Cassie and this other guy. And then his <clears throat> guy, this guy lost, lost all his family, and he left his family behind, and now he regrets it. So then he goes to find his little brother. And hopefully find his sister. Yeah. Hopefully, like this book. Um, um, people who like sci fi or Hunger Games. Well, I'm not really, like, I don't really like sci fi, but like. Like, I didn't like sci-fi, but then I started reading this book, and I really like it, so I guess I like sci-fi now. I don't really know. But I think people who are into adventure and action. It's, like, by, like, so being something. I'm not quite sure his name. It's, like, I don't know. And um, it's about, like, this guy no. named Ted, and he... Uh, he has like a syndrome where like um he like doesn't like he's like obsessed with like some things and he like remembers a lot. I don't know, but like he's like obsessed with the weather, so a lot of his like like a lot of like what he says and stuff is like based off of the weather. And um when like his and like his cousin comes over and he doesn't have any friends so he like thinks like, oh well, maybe he could be my friend. And they like go to the London Eye his cousin's never read before wrote like, on it before. And he like like and like this guy comes up to them and asks if they want a ticket. So he takes the ticket and he goes and he like gets lost and like like he gets off and they're waiting for him and he like doesn't get off and so <laughs> yeah. What yeah. is the London Eye? It's like, it's not like a Ferris wheel, but it's oh, more like a yeah. sightseeing thing in London, where it goes like all the way around, and it's like shaped oh, like, it's like a half hour. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it goes for like oh, a half hour. Oh, isn't it like a clear glass so you can see yeah. everything? Yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, so like, he gets kidnapped? No, it's like, it's a mystery, that's Rachel. the point though, so then the rest of the books, they try and like find them. Is it like a movie? It should be. It looks good. So I read a book called The Testing, and it's kind of like The Hunger Games, except like about smarts. You have to like pass in order to get to the university. And so the girl like takes these tests, and her dad went through the testing. And um, her dad doesn't really talk about it a lot, so she doesn't know if it's like bad or good. And n none of her brothers, like she's five older brothers, and none of them got chosen. So um, her family like really wants her to get chosen, and yeah. Does she get chosen? Well, well, three to find out. Yeah. Well, it's about the testing. What about yeah. that? Like, what test is she? Um, box face would probably pass. It's like 
one, you have to like know which plants are poison or not, and you eat them, depending on what you think. So oh, like so it's like, it's like you do or die, like, yeah, you kind of, yourself. Russian roulette, except they don't know, like, people die, I guess, and then others are like written, Others you're put into teams, but it's like individuals. You go in like a room, and it's like how she handles it. I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, the main character never dies. Who would so. like this book? Um, if you like sure. Divergent and Hunger Games, I think you'd like it. I don't know. I think second books. I also the second one. I think second books are a lot worse than the first ones, but the second one is a lot. Yeah,